Hey there Dev Squad, Furtis here and in today's video we're going to be giving you an introduction to header files and how you can use them inside of C++ programming. We're going to be taking a look at how exactly you can store a function in a header file and then use those functions inside of other C++ files. Without further ado, let's go ahead and break it down and head into the next video. Okay, so now we're inside of Visual Studio, we can start to take a look at exactly what a header file is. A a header file is essentially just a common place for declaring functions in your code. Now by default when you're building an application you are going to have multiple C++ files and within those C++ files you are going to have functions. Now in some cases you are going to want to use that same function in multiple C++ files and to do that you need something which is called a function declaration. A function declaration simply tells the compiler that a function exists and that it needs to go and find it. Without that function declaration in that CPP file, it is not going to be able to reference a function which is stored outside of that C++ file. Now, I know that is a lot for you guys to take in, so what we're gonna do is break this down step by step, explaining exactly what a function declaration is, how you can use one, the problem that you have when you're trying to use functions across multiple documents, and then we're gonna be bringing it all together using a header file to make it all super easy to do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. So a header file is essentially just a commonplace, like I said. With that, you can have your function declarations just like this inside of a header file, and then just use hashtag include, and it's gonna give you access to all those functions. It is as simple as that. Now, there is a few technicalities to it, but we're gonna be going over that just now. By doing it this way, it is gonna be a lot cleaner because you don't need to have all these functions in every single file. I also wanted to mention that header files are unique to C++ and you're not going to see it in similar programming languages such as C Sharp or Java. So let's move on to what a function declaration is. A function declaration is just a signature and a function declaration is just the very first line of a function here which is going to say this is the return type, the name, the inputs and that is it. What you also have underneath that is a function definition, which is essentially the functionality for that function, telling the compiler exactly what to do when that function is executed. So what this function declaration is going to do for us is by taking this and putting it into another C++ file, it is going to allow us to reference this entire function that we've got here. So let's go ahead and create a function declaration of our own. What we're going to do is we're actually going to go to our source files and we're going to be adding a new C++ file that we can work from to simulate this. So what we're going to do is give us the name source secondary, just like that. And we're going to make sure it is visual C++ and it is a CPP file. We're going to add this in. Once we've done this, what we're going to do is create a function which is essentially just going to print something onto the screen. So to be able to do that though, we need access to some of the functions such as cout. And the way we're gonna do that is by including it in. And you can see an example of that inclusion there in the main Virtus course CPP, which is include IO stream. And that is essentially just a header file. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna do include and then IO stream. And just like that, we're good to go. And now what we can do on the next line in here, this is where we can actually start writing our functions and try and reference them elsewhere. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a simple function, very, very simple. And all we're gonna do for this is simply create a void function, which doesn't return anything, and it's just going to print a piece of text onto the screen. So what we're gonna do is void print vertus awesome, and then we're just gonna use the brackets. We're not gonna have any inputs in there. Moving on, on the next line, we're then gonna have our curly brackets, and all we're gonna do is some very simple code to print some text onto the screen. std cout, and then we are going to push into that. Virtus is awesome, just like that. 
And then what we're also going to do at the very end of this, we're going to use the slash and then the N to let it know that it needs to add a new line after that. Once we've done with this, what we're then going to do is simply add on the semicolon and make sure you've got that slash the right way round as I have done there. With that done, we've now got a function. So we don't need to return anything with this because it is a void function like we showed you in the last video. If we were to go to our main vertus course.cpp, we can try and reference this. So what we're going to do is type it in and that was print vertus awesome. And as you can see here, nothing is coming up. And that is because we don't have a function declaration in place. So let's create a function declaration. So that is our function, clean and simple. But to be able to access it, we need a function declaration. All we're going to do for that is type in the first line of that function. And that's going to say it exists, go find it, and it will find it for us. So that was void print vertus awesome. We are going to have the brackets, no inputs. And then because this is a function declaration, we're going to add the semicolon on there. It's a statement. Whereas when we're actually creating the function itself, we do not add that semicolon there. So with that done, making sure that your spelling was is 100% correct, what we could then go and do is go into our code here. If we remove our other code in here, we can call that function, even though it's in a different file. So print vertus awesome, just like that. Use the brackets and we're good to go. Add the semicolon and then let's run this through the debugger. So if we take a look at this, We've got our code on the screen, Vertis is awesome, but that's not coming from this file. It's coming from the function which is in our secondary document just like that. So hopefully you guys can start to understand exactly why you're going to need a function declaration and how you can begin to use functions across multiple C++ files. So what we're going to do now is move on to showing you how you can tidy this up because what you don't want to do is every single document you have make those function declarations. Instead, what you can do is put them all into one header file and then simply hash include the header file like we have done with IOStream here. So creating the header file, if we go over to our header files filter up here, add an item, new item, and then make sure you select a header file. And that is a .h, which is specifically for header files. We're going to give this the name header test, and we're going to hit add on that just like that. Now, what we can do in here is type in that function declaration. So we're going to do void print vertus awesome, just like that, and add our semicolon in there. And that is the same as doing exactly what we have done in here. So having said that, we can get rid of this from our main vertus course.cpp and just keep it in the header file. Now to actually get this and any other function declarations which are inside of our header files into our vertus course, all we need to do is go to the very top here and we're going to do include. And then once we've done that, we are going to do header test, which is the name of the file that we just created. And then what we're also going to do is just make sure we add dot h onto it. And you can see that predictive text here, just like that. So now what we can do is if we run this through our debugger, we can reference this function, which is just being declared inside of that header test. So let's go ahead and give that a go. As you can see, it is all working perfectly well. So header files are a really awesome resource for you guys to use to keep your code simple and most importantly, allow you to use functions from other C++ files. Now there is one last thing that I wanted to show you before we end this video and that is simply inside of our header test file or any header file, you are going to have this statement, pragma once.
Pragma Once is essentially just a preprocessor directive statement to make sure the current source file is only included once, because multiple C++ files are going to include this header, and we don't want to make this function declaration over and over again, we just want it to do it the once, and that is what Pragma Once is going to do for us. So have a little play around with creating header files, function declarations, and all of that good stuff, but for now guys, as usual, stay awesome, keep creating, Virtus signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.